Hello and welcome to you in the Embedded System Programming course. This is Lakshmi Kantiwari. Today we will design a moving average filter in the MATLAB and the Simulink. The moving average filter is specially used for the removing the low frequency noise. And uh, many times it is also used for the smoothing the signal and uh, it can also remove the spikes in the low frequency signals. Okay, so let's design this. Uh, let's start the design through in the simulink. So type the simulink in command window. Simulink will be open here. Okay, and click on the new model. Fine, and then find the first the fire filter, and uh, then find the one scope. and also let's take a signal generator okay this is the signal generator now that's all what we need now click on the configuration parameter model configurations and then set here the type is the fixed step Okay, the solver is fine, but the fixed step size set the 0 0.01. It means it will take the 100 samples in one second. Okay, then click on the apply. Okay, fine. Now the connect the signal generator with the FIR block and then move this here and then click on the scope settings and the number of axes is the two fine increase the size of the scope and then click this part to this and this part to this fine now the our model has been completed what we need to set here the let's set the sine square sawtooth wave fine the sawtooth wave amplitude is one and the let's take the frequency is the 10 okay and 10 hertz and then click on the apply and then ok and uh, well now we need to set here the coefficients of the filter you know the moving average filter is a special type of the fire filter in the moving average filters all the fir filter coefficient is the same that's mean this is the second order of the moving average filter the 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay and also the summation of the all the coefficients of the moving average filter is, is equal to the one so let's design the 20th order of the moving average filter that's when the 1 by 20 1 by 20 up to the 20 times will be the filter coefficient so the best way to generate this a is equal to type the zeros fine zeros 20 20 20 means it will be the 20 uh, columns but we need only the one row sorry yes one row and the 20 column fine zero zero it will generate a zero sorry we need actually the ones okay so it will generate a, a, a 20 columns of the one that's mean the uh, uh, 20 consecutive ones and the divide by the 20 and then it will generate a 1 by 20 a 20 consecutive times okay read a from read a from here double click and copy this parameter up to the 20 okay copy from here and then paste paste here fine now click on the apply and then okay now we can check our model here now let's uh, now everything has been complete now let's test the run okay so click on the run now you can see in the scope here i think something is wrong yeah click on the signal generator and change its frequency in the radian per second okay and then click on the okay and then run now you can see here as you can see here if we look very closely uh, it is averaging that's when uh, you can see here this part and this part okay that's when it averaged out and it is tilted that's when it is uh, this one is the sawtooth wave and this sawtooth is converting in the uh, ramp signal or in the you can say the, in the triangular wave 
That means it is a smoothing this signal. The you can test one more time with adding the noise uh, in this model and smoothing that noise. Okay. So find the here the noise generator first the noise. Okay, and uh, take the Gaussian noise add to the model and then find also one more adder okay so the this is the sum now add this summation and add this generators and feed the value the, uh, let's take the variance is 0 0.01 okay and the initial seed is 41 fine and sample time is 0 0.01 okay and click on the okay now let's check run this signal and yeah fine you can see here clearly the our signal this first one you can see here the first uh, first one is the our signal and second one is the uh, smoothed signal that's mean after the uh, after the moving average filtering okay so you can see here uh, completely you can see this is the noise this is the noise and in this final output the noise has been suppressed using the moving average filter so the overall idea behind this uh, tutorial is the, for the low uh, low frequency noise you can use the moving average filter now thank you so much for watching please subscribe for more videos